Oh, hello. You caught me cooking. I don't believe you. Hi, my name is Austin Hall, and I'm one of the adult services librarians at West Chicago Public Library. And uh, I'm here tonight, or today, uh, to talk to you about what I'm going to be doing for the Home for the Holidays festivities. Specifically, I'm going to be cooking some stuff. So I'm here today in my own kitchen, at my own home, uh, without an apron, sadly. Um, but I am going to cook for you guys today, and I'm going to show you how to do uh, a couple things. The couple things specifically are these two holiday-themed desserts that I think you guys will love. Um, the first one is a white chocolate and peppermint holiday fudge. And the second are strawberry Santas with cream cheese frosting. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to adjust the camera so you guys can see what I am doing, okay? You'll want to do a little bit of pre-preparation uh, when you make the fudge, because we're going to make the fudge first, okay? So the first thing you're going to need to do when you make the fudge is you're going to have to gather your materials together. Here's what you're going to need. Three and a half cups of white chocolate chips. Approximately five candy canes. Crush these up beforehand. Quarter cup of butter. Two teaspoons of pure peppermint extract. And one can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay. So the other things that we're going to need are a a large microwave safe bowl, measuring spoons, a spoon to stir things, measuring cup, and a microwave oven, which you can't see right now. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our white chocolate chips in the bowl. This is a very easy recipe. All you're going to be doing is just basically gathering your ingredients together, microwaving them, and then placing them in a dish. This is three and a half cups. All right, so now we're going to open up our can of milk. Again, this is sweetened condensed milk. You don't want to get evaporated milk or unsweetened condensed milk, anything like that. And this is a standard. Um, 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay. And always, always with cooking, you want to keep your ratios straight. So if you're making double this recipe, obviously you're going to need two cans. You're going to need uh, seven cups of uh, white chocolate chips, etc., etc. Oh. Add my butter. And you'll want to keep your butter at room temperature. Um, if you need to keep it up beforehand, do that. All right. Now, our peppermint extract. We're going to want two teaspoons of this. You don't want to go over that because you're going to be having a, some fudge that is very overbearing in the peppermint department. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so we have our ingredients. We're going to give them a bit of a stir, just a little bit. Shake the excess off your spoon. Whatever you're stirring this with, you can use a rubber spatula if you'd like. Okay. So our microwave is right here. Handle's broken on it. Anyways. Put this in for approximately two minutes. Um, basically what you want is you want the white chocolates to melt. Okay, so about two minutes. Maybe a little bit more, we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, what you want to do is you want to prepare the dish that it's going to go into, okay? So ideally, beforehand, before you even do this, you should grease up a dish to put this in, but I didn't do that, that's okay. Putting the fudge in the microwave, give us a little bit of time, all right? And we're going to use butter as our grease for our dish. Okay. All right. So our chips aren't yet melted. So we're going to have to put them in for another minute or so. Always make sure that you have some sort of towel or dish towel handy. Clean up your area. Always keep your area clean when cooking. Now the second dish, like I said before, are the strawberry Santas with the uh, cream cheese frosting filling, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some of our materials together and move some of the other materials from the last dish out of the way. Come 
Fashion and animation. Ice cream, candy, lemonade, too. And there's a hot dog waiting for you. Hey, folks. Sorry about the interruption, but uh, this is the intermission, and I have a valuable lesson to teach you guys today. Here we go. This is an important message. There's going to be a test on this. Okay, hope you can read that. Today's lesson is the library has lots of cookbooks. Okay, so the library has a lot of cookbooks that you can take home with you that have a lot of desserts for the holidays and just lots of dishes for any occasion. Here's what I mean by that. Here's some books for you. Sweet Home Cafe cookbook. Half the sugar, all the love. Is it a gluten-free cookbook? And we've also got some cookbooks in Spanish. Pastelaria. Decorar Pasteles. It's all about cake decorating and desserts. Pasteles. And more pasteles. So, we have a wide variety of cookbooks on all kinds of subjects here at the library. So, if you take any lesson with you today, uh, this is it. The library has a lot of cookbooks, so please let us know what kind of cookbooks you want. We will get them for you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Looks to be pretty, pretty well melted here, so I'm going to... Again, stir it around. You want to make sure that it's really smooth. You don't want any kind of uh, you don't want any chunks or lumps in your uh, in your fudge mix here. You want a fairly even fudge. Um, you know, keep the texture kind of uniform all the way through. You know, don't have bits that are kind of more runny. You want to keep it kind of firm. Okay. Pour that into this dish here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the crushed candy canes that we had. Remember we crushed the candy canes? And we're going to spread them evenly over the top, okay? Now the candy cane should be kind of like pieces and dust. And the end result is going to be some fairly firm fudge like this. I made one of these earlier today so I can show you guys what the finished product is going to look like, all right? Now we had a batter, it was in that dish that I just put in the fridge, right? So that batter is going to turn into this firm, nice fudge. You can serve at parties for your friends, families, and foes alike. You want to gather your ingredients together. Okay. Now, your ingredients will include strawberries. Uh, I'd say approximately 5 to 10, depending on how many guests you're going to serve or how many of these you want to eat yourself, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, a bunch of blueberries. Let's get, get like a, you know, standard size thing of blueberries. Okay. You want some white chocolate chips and some regular chocolate chips? I, I've mixed them up in this one bowl here. You want cream cheese frosting. All right. So I just bought, store bought Betty Crocker cream cheese frosting. Um, but this is the thing that's going to be the most complex about this whole deal, okay? In order to make these strawberry Santas, you'll need to be able to pipe the strawberry, the cream cheese frosting into the uh, hollowed out strawberry, okay? So in order to do that, I don't recommend spooning the frosting in. That will not look as good as other methods, okay? The other the trick here is that you want to keep your cream cheese frosting refrigerated so it's firm. Okay, because if you pipe it and it's not firm enough, it'll just spill everywhere and it'll get runny and it just won't look very good. So you want to keep your Santa's refrigerating too, okay? Now, before we get started, you want to take a normal freezer bag. Now, I've already taken the trouble of doing this because this is the sloppy process, okay? And you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you, uh, you don't want to see me doing this for like 10 minutes. It's too time consuming. Okay, so you take a normal freezer bag, right? You cut off the corner. Just cut off the real tip right there in one of the bottom corners. You fill this with your frosting, the cream cheese frosting. All right. Then 
You take a knife, it could be a paring knife, larger knife, whatever you're comfortable using, just make sure you don't cut yourself, obviously. Okay. You want to cut the bottom off the strawberry, like that. Move that out of the way. You're not going to use that. But you are going to cut off the top tip here, right? Just like that, and you want to set that aside because you will use that later. All right, so here's your strawberry. While you have your strawberry, what you want to kind of do is gut it as much as possible. Now, a small paring knife is probably a better use here, so you probably want to use that instead, but whatever you're comfortable using, again, just make sure that you're kind of, you don't have to be super exact, but this is time consuming and requires a bit of nice skill, but you want to kind of get a hollowed up strawberry like that. Oh, this is the other thing that I, I forgot to tell you guys about. You want to get some sort of dish, disc shaped cookie. Okay, now these are fudge mints. I don't know if they work or not, but they're gluten free. Uh, I specifically wanted cookies that I can use at home. And um, you can use Oreos if you want, or thin brownie uh, brittle, things like that. This is just a disc to kind of present the Santa on. Okay, so set this down on a flat surface. Right there. Now pipe a little bit of the cream cheese onto that disc, just about a pea size. Okay, now we are going to affix the body of the strawberry on top of that disc. With that. Got the bag of frosting, and we're going to pipe it into the hollowed out strawberry as best as we can. Again, this is kind of a sloppy process and takes a little bit of getting used to. Your first one probably isn't going to be that great, that's totally fine. But what you want to do is you want to kind of fill in the hollowed out strawberry and leave some on the side draped over like so. Sort of like a beer. You guys can see where we're going with this already, right? I hope so. Okay, now you take the hat, right? The top of the strawberry that we cut off, place it like so, as if it is a hat. Now, we have our chocolate chips and our white chocolate chips. The chocolate chips are going to be Santa's eyes. There. It's going to be a, kind of a delicate process, so you kind of want to use a little bit of... Yeah. Skill in doing this. Those are his eyes. The white chocolate chip is his milk. Place that right there, like so. And I don't know if you can see this very well, but you kind of have something that approximates the Santa. Now I put blueberries on these as Santa's feet, so <laughs> that's something you want to do too. Is place the blueberries at his feet. Kind of complete the picture there. On there. So, there's your Santas, and uh, let me get the fudge again. There's the fudge, right there. And here's your adult services librarian, Austin Hall, signing off and wishing you guys a uh, happy holidays and good eat.